Hello everybody, Assalamualaikum, hello queens and today I'm going to share with you uh, this book called Codependent No More. I love this book, I read this book about two years ago, it's by Melody Beattie and it shows on how to stop controlling others and start caring for yourself. Uh, people who are codependent, they put a lot of worthiness uh, based on external things. They, for example, um, the job title. They have a job title, manager, director, VP of president or something. Then they feel, oh, I am a worthy person. Okay. Uh, some people put their worthiness on external stuff like their husbands, for example. Oh, my husband is of this level. Then I'm worthy. You know, if my husband is not successful, I'm not worthy. That sort of thing. Or oh, children. Sometimes they talk about um, that they, they, their children has to have a certain image and, um, you know, a certain level of success. Then they feel they are worthy. Otherwise, they feel, oh, I'm a useless person and all that. And especially, I, I just want to share with it, this with you because you are entrepreneurs, business owners. You are not. Your worthiness is not dependent on your clients. And some people think that um, their, their, their worthiness is based on their clients, right? But if let's say um, there will always be people, be people who are not happy with you or they don't succeed, that does not make you a lesser entrepreneur or a lesser trainer or a lesser teacher or a lesser person, a coach or whatever. You know, you I know some of you here in this community are coaches as well. But codependent people, they feel a need to save people. And if they don't save that person, they are a failure. And that's why a lot of people, either they reduce their rates or they give for free, but you know, they feel tired and they put themselves, they drop their own energy levels uh, in order to fit and go into the sob stories of their clients and as well. So that makes uh, that person, is actually an indication, the person is actually a codependent person. That means your self-worth is dependent on someone else, right? And some coaches also feel that they need to help people who, um, you know, uh, of a certain, you know, they are just very low energy or they're, 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 um, they're, they're uh, poor or whatever, you know. Um, I, I, I just want you to understand there is a difference between helping and giving and being codependent on that energy space, all right? So don't go into a, a, a level where you feel like you want to save people. God will save them. But you lead the way. You give them the options. You give them the solutions. They can be your beneficiaries, but you don't go into their level or into their space. And um, your, worth is, your worthiness is not dependent on whether your clients become successful or not. All right? You are worthy no matter what, as long as you do your best, you do your work, you do your coaching, you full-heartedly be sincere in the way you conduct your business. Um, there will be people who are successful because they take your advice and they run with it. There are also people who don't become successful in your clients uh, group. They may even use you, talk bad about you, and you know what? You don't need to go into that space because you are worthy anyway. You have a bigger purpose in your life to fulfill and you do not need to be drained into this energy, okay? So just remember, a lot of times, women entrepreneurs, they become codependent because they put their self-worth on things other than themselves, their skills, their purpose. They put their self-worth based on uh, how they, they look, uh, how their husband's, uh, you know, position, um, their, their own job titles, their own, you know, whatever MA, BA or a PhD that they have, they put their self-worth based on their, 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 their uh, uh, what's that, designations, yeah, and all of this external stuff. And I would like to, you, that being a queen does not mean that you are codependent on anything. Okay, this is a very powerful topic. If you can look and see this, you don't become, uh, you you don't become a servant to other people's whims and fancies. You you know your connect your connection with God Almighty is so strong that you you have so much faith in the message that you are. Uh, caring because you know it is very important and it does help people, right? And you, your self worth is not dependent on your children, your husband, your clothes, your job titles. 
you are worthy as it is, right? So that takes a mindset shift in uh, some of you. I know it has worked on me. I had to work repeatedly on myself on not being codependent or realizing that then I might have some code codependent issues. So this is a very powerful topic on its own. I, I wish you all the best on your journey to being a queen in your lives, to lead your life with purpose, to create businesses that create impact and um, you know, making changes in the world. So this is my tip for today. I wish you all the best. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.